This is Chad with the iPhone blog and today we're going to take a look at Apigo's to do for the iPad. I've been waiting for this app for a while. One of the great things about this app is that it synchronizes over the web to the free Toodle Do service. So I highly recommend you check that out. One of the first things you'll notice about this book, or excuse me, this application, it looks like a binder book, is that it looks just like a binder. Uh, over here you have your lists uh, to work from that you can create and assign them different colors. And then over here you have a list of your tasks. You can also filter things based on contexts and if you use tags. Over here is where, you're, where you synchronize to the web. Over on the left uh, are your lists that you can make, your inbox where all your tasks go by default, start items, and start items are just a way to uh, basically mark uh, something or flag something. I use it to say, hey, I've got these tasks, I wanna make sure I complete these today and I mark it. Then you have a focus list, which is basically a set of filters that you can create. So let's set this back down. And so what you do is you basically hit this plus sign and you have a couple options here. You can create a normal task, a project task, and a checklist. A project task uh, allows you to create subtasks underneath it. Checklist is a checklist. You can assign a contact if you call someone, email, SMS, visit, so on and so forth. Let's just do a normal task. And I'll basically say, buy milk. And I hit save. And when I do that, you notice by default it goes into the inbox. It has no context. It has no priority or anything. And I can then pick what day I want to do it. And it has these nice buttons, convenient buttons across the bottom for a day, tomorrow, next week, so on and so forth. I can also change the type once I've created it, if I change my mind. I can even put in a due time because this app does use push notifications. So especially if you have the 3G on all the time, it will allow you to actually push over the air, which is very convenient. And from here is where you can choose what list you'd like to assign it to or make a new list if you don't already have one. For now, I'm going to put it in the inbox. And so if I go over here to my inbox, you can see I have my buy milk item. What I can do is if you had multiple items here, I can check mark it. And then I can choose to move it right here. And I can move it to a context, move it to a list, or I could schedule them. And that's what's so great is that you can do this in bulk. So very often what happens with me is I might have five tasks that end up being overdue because I didn't get around to completing them. This allows you to say, well, in bulk, I'm going to assign them to tomorrow and basically get that done very quickly. You can also search up top here. You have your little uh, search box uh, right up top here. Put in any keywords that you like. And over here, uh, you have your settings menu. And you notice it flips over and it looks like it's a little flip pad. Uh, one of the nice things you can do is you can customize the theme. So that's the current binder, but you can make the binder blue, black, brown, green, what have you. Even a nice uh, lavender color if you so uh, like. You can choose the type of paper and your brackets and rings. Uh, Apigo said they're coming out with more themes, so I'm looking forward uh, to them uh, giving us a newer, newer theme, which should be really nice. Uh, so then when you're done, you can basically exit and go back. Now this is what's really slick. If I take this and I put it into portrait mode, uh, you'll see that you just get a list of tasks and um, I want to basically go to another list. You have this little uh, <laughs> flip flip list over here. It takes me back to all my tasks and then I can easily flick through all of them. That is, I swear, one of the coolest things ever. I love that. You flip and you can flip back. That's, that's, that's the greatest. Here, let's do it again. Flip, flip back. I love that. Anyway, this has been... A quick overview of Apigo's to do for iPad. Uh, it's very inexpensive uh, as an introductory price. I think it's around $5. The iPhone app is $10, so I recommend you get this uh, on the cheap while you can. It's a great app, synchronizes over the air. This is Apigo's to do.